Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb Manila. My name is Keo and I'm here with... Hi guys, I'm Dave. And uh, we're gonna be brewing some coffee today. You might have seen our unboxing. Actually, a lot of people watch that. And one of the things that we unboxed in our mail this month was the Curve Coffee Collaborators Lake Napalit from Bukidnon. It's an heirloom coffee. We'll talk a bit more about the origin later, but what we want to do is that we're going to brew it a bunch of different ways because they sent us the box that had the bag in it and it also had this pour over drip bag in it and the cold brew. So, uh, and then also this week, we also had the Geo Lily drip come in. So what we're going to do is we're going to brew it as the pour over and as a V60, this will be our baseline, you know, for our flavor notes, the body, all of those things. Yeah. And then we're going to taste it as a drip bag. And then as a lily drip so we can see the difference. Now the grind size for the lily drip is a little bit finer, right? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to brew it kind of at the best recipe for that brew method. Then we also have it as espresso and as the cold brew. Our kettle is beat, we are at temperature, we're brewing everything at 95 degrees. So let's go. So we're trying to uh, like maximize yung hanggang san yung pwedeng flavor notes na pwede bigay ng coffee. Right. I've gone ahead and pre-washed the filters and we just ground all the coffee now. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up this drip bag. So the drip bag is 12 grams of coffee. Okay, so our previous drip bag with a good cup was 10 grams. So we're going to use a, the same ratio. This is 12 grams of coffee and we're going to put 180 grams in here. Now, the, the, the bag is slightly different from the one at the good cup. And is the beeping coming from the scale or from the kettle? From the scale. Coming from the scale. The small okay. one. All right, so there we go. There's the drip bag. We're gonna open it up. And if you remember our, our episode about the drip cup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna brew it so that it sinks down. All right, resetting all of our scales. And putting in the coffee. So this is something I notice about the, the lily drip is that when the coffee goes in, it hits that little dot and you don't, it, it's not flat right away. While Keo is uh, busy brewing the coffee, just give you like an uh, idea about this coffee. I think um, what they want is to like promote local coffee. Talaga. The word curve. I don't know if I'm But what I think is like when you're roasting, there's like a curve or like turning point. So you want to say that's what they want. Be in here, the or curve like the mountains. Uh, we're not gonna give you the flavor notes mamaya na lang when we taste the coffee. Actually, palang, parang ito rin yung ano, new trend now the drip bags. Okay, uh, parang the specialty coffee scene, they want you to experience yung. Uh, parang totoong lasa ng kape okay na you can just enjoy it walang masyadong hassle walang dripper you just pour the water on your dip bag this is the new trend now so what is your ratio for you? so I'm brewing everything at the 15 to 1 ratio just so that it's the same across all of the bags uh, all of the drip methods and more or less um, an ideal brew method for each of them so it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit longer here I'm letting it sit in those fine grinds but because of the high flow rate of the lily drip um, geo we are letting that uh, we're letting it sit there a bit more you can see immediately the color difference that you're getting from the two now I'm having some trouble with this central scale in the with the drip bag, but luckily I'm remembering 
how much water I put in, so I'm just adding it each time because it's resetting. So ah, okay. I think it's an espresso mode. All right. So that's it for our brew methods over here. Uh, we have the three. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go make our espresso. All right. And we're back. <laughs> all right, so we brewed all of the coffees, espresso, uh, cold brew. So the cold brew, it came in this bottle and we put it uh, in here in a kind of one is to three ratio. And then, so that's a cold brew. And then we have V60, we have Geo Lily drip, we have drip bag and espresso. So let's start with the espresso. All right, give me some. Aroma. Sweet. Mm. It's like candy. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really nice. There's like an orange sweetness acidity on it. Mm -hmm. so, um, I taste um, like a candied citrus peel, a candied lemon peel. The body is creamy. It is creamy. There's like a butterscotchiness mm. to it. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Very good. Uh, overall impact? Mm, the score? Score, like 1 to 10, just overall impact. I give it an 8.7. 8.7? 8. 8. I will give this one an 8.6 for me. Close, close. Medyo calibrated na tayo. It's a good espresso for a local coffee. Yeah. One of the best espresso that I tasted. This one is the V60. Straight V60, 1 is to 15 ratio. Actually, all of our coffees are is 1 is to 15. Brewed at uh, 95 uh, degrees mm -hmm. Celsius. So this is a recommended temperature. That's a recommended temperature. So we just did that across the board and then adjusted based on recipe and brew size. But they're all brewed more or less in 3 minutes. Okay. Okay. The orange is there. The same orange. Yeah. This one's like a fresh orange juice. Some tea-like notes. Uh, I'm, I'm not so specific on the tea here, but I know it tastes like when you go to a Chinese restaurant and they bring... <laughs> yeah. What yeah. kind of tea is that? It's like, uh, I think some of them they put oolong or green tea. So it's not a green tea, so it's probably a oolong um, that they bring to the table and then drink it right away. Mm. That it hasn't been sitting there for a long time. The first uh, brew. Yeah, the that first brew. It, it tastes something mm. like that. It's a well-balanced coffee. Yeah, I, I like it. I think that's score. interesting. Score. First score. 8.3. Okay, I'm gonna give a 8.5 for this one. 8.5? Yep. Alright. So this is the Geo Lily Drip. Mm. The floral aroma is more like intense in this yeah. cup. Yeah. yeah. So you, the, the, the lily drip has made a difference. It has made a difference. It allowed us to grind finer. Oh, that's why. It's sweet. It's not over extracted. We have the same brewing time. We just ground finer. And the lily drip allows us to have a shallower bed and more airflow inside the V60. And then we use a ceramic V60, which doesn't disperse heat so quickly. Score? 8.6. I gotta give it 8.6 for this one. It's a bit higher for the... I made 0.5. Okay. So, same. <laughs> Close. Alright, so this one is the drip bag. Right. I'm excited with this one. It's almost there. It's almost there. I think about 80% of the flavor of these guys is here, even from the espresso. 
it's close. Like it's still a good coffee. You can still taste how good the coffee is. Uh, but the problem that I find here is that you can still taste the bag. In a way that, say. yeah, like we, we've done a few drip bags here and we didn't really taste the bag on those. So I don't know if that's a matter of the nitrogen flush, if they don't do it or what. Um, but of these coffees, of these methods, I would have to say that this one is ranked below just because. But it's still a good coffee, like an everyday coffee drink. It is a good coffee. Like the, the, I, I can imagine that if we didn't rinse the bag, uh, if, oh. we, if we're able to rinse the bag, rinse the filter, we'd get a different result. But since we're not able to do that, we're stuck with this result. Um, it's not it's not bad. It's just I can taste the bag, and it's getting in the way of the coffee. Why do you think it's the trend now? The drip, drip bag. bag? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, convenience. Okay. Convenience. Uh, it's a good solution to uh, you know a lot of the barrier to entry and to drinking good coffee is the grinder. So it's a way to get ground coffee to you oh, in yeah. a good right in a in a good condition um, where because the problem is even if you nitrogen flush a big bag of ground coffee once you open that bag it's ground coffee yeah, you yeah. know all the nitrogen is you know will disappear but here it's trapped per bag now the the other discussion to be had there is um, is that just like the sachet culture of coffee and is that something we want to do? Uh, maybe you guys have an opinion. We won't necessarily share our opinions on that right now. But if you have an opinion on that, you can share it in the comments below. And we'd love to know what you think. Uh, overall impact? Um, eight. I'm 7.8. Okay. So not so good for me. Um, but still, uh, it's still good coffee. It's just I have, I have trouble considering it, you know, 8 and above because I can taste the filter yeah. yeah and to be fair we were using very high quality filters here we're using the origami filter in the v60 so you know take it with a grain of salt we got to pick our filter here we got to rinse it and on this one we just have to go with the one that's in the bag yeah. so it is what it is and then you just pour the, the water into coffee yeah we just pour it. so it, it also saves us a lot of trouble so for that you know extra five points boom lin na lang kayo ng Whole grain, uh, a whole bean, yeah. <laughs> coffee. I think for for example, you're traveling, like, right? Yeah. You can, you can have it. Keep one in the office, yeah. right? Matagal ang 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 lifespan niya, January 20, mm. 2021. So a long time. All right. Uh, and this coffee was all roasted one week ago now. Yeah. So uh, eight days. So perfect for tasting. All right. So this is the cold brew. Comes in the bottle. It's a concentrate. And we, uh, we mix it with ice, 3 to 1 ratio. But as you can see, a lot of the ice is still in there. So, siguro mga 1 is to 2. This is really good. Yeah. Really good. Wow. I haven't had a... In a more. <laughs> I haven't had an RTD cold brew that's this... Uh, you know, refreshing, sweet, fruity, in a while, of the batch, of the bunch. I like this one a lot. Score? For a cold brew, like 9.2. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I'd say maybe 8.9. I think that all of these are kind of in the 8 range, and then this one is just below. Um, but, yeah, if I'm going to rank it, I would say cold brew. Is the best of the bunch, and then the espresso, espresso, yeah, espresso, and then the Geo, and then the V60, and then last you drip bag. Drip bag yeah. yeah. So my uh, my recommendation would be, you know, you can buy the whole box, right? If you saw our unboxing, it comes with the with the drip bags. Okay, this one in a box, right? And this is how many bag? This is ten. And then it comes with the bottle of cold brew. And then it also oh. comes with the bag of whole bean coffee. And all of this is 1,000 pesos. But I would say, if you're going to ask my opinion, you can buy this a la carte, you'll be happy. Yeah. 
right? Buy three or four bottles, you'll be happy. Uh, you can buy this. I don't know how much it costs. Uh, we can look that up. But buy this, you'll be happy. If you buy this one, you need to have a very specific reason why. Which is, you don't own a grinder or you're, you know, you're, you want to have in the office or in the clinic, whatever. Uh, you want to be able to bring it with you. That's when you get this one. Uh, but you, you, you have the option to get them all or to get them one by one. It's very good as brewed. It's very good as espresso. And it's, it's good as their cold brew. So I'm not sure if we cold brew this, if it will be the yeah. same. Yeah. Because it says here coffee concentrate. So I think that they probably use a very strong ratio. Yeah, you can use this. it for like yeah, yeah, barley. For like uh at ice with milk. With milk? Yeah, with milk. And uh for hot water, one is to one ratio. So you can make that hot coffee. Yeah. Huh. You don't see that a lot with, with cold brew. So this must be a high ratio. Maybe like a one is to six. That's also why it tastes so good. Um, overall, the flavor profile here is, I would say, fresh orange, jackfruit, and, and tea. For me, it was oolong. Uh, the floral came out most in the geo. I think um, they're aiming for, like, for gifts. Mm. Since it's like, you know, December. That's actually a really yeah. good idea. Like yeah. if I got that, because the box is so big. Yep. Yeah. We have some footage of that from the from the unboxing. Uh -huh. The box is so big, it's nice to get. And it's always nice to support a local Philippine coffee, right? So let's take a look at the coffee because it says here Lake Napalit, Bukid Nun, elevation is 1300 meters above sea level. And it gets to the variety uh, where it says sweet coffee heirloom variety. Yep. What's that? Hard work. Hard work coffee. Uh, hard work from every person involved the time the coffee is picked. So they, they, they put a lot of work into it and they, they really make a point with the packaging to communicate how much uh, how much heart right, and hard work is put into making this coffee. If you can give gifts like this, it's a good idea. Yep. Final thoughts? Final thoughts. Um, I like the cold brew. Of course, it's very uh, refreshing and the espresso. I think uh, the drip bags is for like traveling, you know, uh, for those people na sa mga hina na walang dripper, less hassle. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I say. Um, I would say that 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 the drip bag, it's for a certain kind of customer. So if you send this to as a gift, it goes to a home or a house. The thing that's confusing for me is that the market for the for the bag is different uh, for the whole bean is different for, for the customer with the drip bag. So to put them in the same package is a little bit confusing for me. But iba ibang tao. Like if you sent this to my to my parents' house, right? I will brew this yeah. in the morning. That's why. Yeah. And they will brew this. In the afternoon. Between lang yung cold brew, but it's good. Yeah. yeah. Like it's different. It's it's a, no my wife will drink this <laughs> while I'm away. So so it, it it it's it's a good distribution of product and a good gift for the whole family and for different levels of expertise, right? Yeah. So there's something for everyone. Um, you just need to keep that in mind. You do. So if you sent this bag just to me, I would have these comments. But if you send it to a group of people, right, right, for for the Dorsey family, yeah. right, I'm sure there's someone in that group who will be able to benefit from each of these things. Yeah. So those are our thoughts on the Curve Coffee Collaborators Lake Napalit Bukidon. I'm super happy to taste this origin and to see good things happening uh, coming from South Philippine coffees. I'm always a big fan of those. Um, and to discover new origins. All right. Did you taste this before? Um, no, it's it's my first time. First time as yeah. well. Yeah. So congratulations to Curve Coffee. Thank you for sending this over. They did send the package over to us. Um, so uh, that you can take that both ways. One is 
maybe we won't, we won't say something nice about it because uh, we won't say something not nice about it because they sent it over. But on the other hand, I'm trying harder <laughs> to be more honest <laughs> about what we're gonna say yeah. because they did that. So, um, you know, that's why we're, we're talking a lot about that drip bag because you can really taste it. So right? if you wanna order, they have a website. They have a website? Yeah. Check the... Uh, Curve.coffee. Curve, uh, curve yeah. I remember that yeah. one. They have their own top level domain. So Curve.coffee, you can look them up on, uh, on the web and order there. You can also ask questions on their Instagram uh, and they'll be glad to answer to you. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Wish you guys good luck. Wish you guys good health. Wish you great coffee. Peace. Peace.